Episode 7 of The Mandalorian Season 3 ended with Din Djarin being taken away by Moff Gideon's Imperial Troopers in Beskar armor. Now what if Din was being taken to a Mind Flayer where his memory was going to be wiped? Now before you say I'm absolutely crazy, this could never happen and you click away from this video, hear me out. Because if you stick around to the end of this video, I believe that you will fully expect Din Djarin to be getting his mind flayed and fighting against Bo-Katan and Grogu in this finale. What's up guys, it's Mike, a guy who loves Star Wars, and I'm sure right now you really, really want to hit that like button. Search your feelings, you know it to be true. So do it, because today we are talking about Din Djarin getting his memory wiped in a mind flayer. Okay, so we know from the past two seasons that The Mandalorian show is really good at resolving the storylines that go on throughout the season in the season finale. With season one, you had the stories between Din Djarin and Queel, Din Djarin and IG-11, Din Djarin and Grief Karga, Din Djarin and Cara Dune, and all those characters were introduced in separate episodes and all those plots were resolved in the finale. The same can be said about season two, with Boba Fett's story, Bo-Katan's story, going to Tython on the Seeing Stone. All those different characters and plots are brought together at the end of the season for the finale and of course lead to Luke Skywalker's arrival. Now season three is no different, it seems to be on the same track. With more obvious stories that will definitely get resolved in this finale with the Mythazar that we saw all the way back in episode two of this season definitely will be showing up in this finale. And of course, the whole season was talking about Moff Gideon escaping that prison transport, and in this last episode, we got to see him. But there still is one episode in this third season that makes no sense coming into this finale. And that is episode three. Why did we spend so much time with Dr. Pershing explaining his story for him to not give us any information and for his mind to get wiped by the Mind Flayer? Well, what if this was just setting up Din Djarin's capture in the finale and a mind flaying of his own? And that Dr. Pershing episode wasn't really about Dr. Pershing himself. It was more about introducing us to the Mind Flayer and the abilities of the machine. So Din Djarin being put into a Mind Flayer in this finale would resolve that plot and all of season three would be pulled together quite nicely i might add and would lead to an insane problem in this finale with din Djarin turning to the dark side but din Djarin's memory wouldn't be lost forever this would also tie in another storyline from the book of boba fett because i'm sure moff gideon is going to pin din Djarin against bo katan the other mandalorians but most importantly he will pin din Djarin against grogu but like I said before, his mind won't be lost forever. Grogu will use the Force to help him remember. This would resolve that plot from the Book of Boba Fett, where Grogu trains with Luke Skywalker, and Luke puts his hand on Grogu's head, clearing his mind and making him remember Order 66. Now, a very similar thing would take place in this finale, where Din Djarin has lost his memory, and Grogu will have to place his hand on Din Djarin's head and recover those memories. Because let's be honest, there has to be an explanation as to why Moff Gideon kept Din Djarin alive. He killed the other Mandalorians that were outside that reinforced wall with Din Djarin, but he didn't kill Din Djarin. He spared his life. There must be something else going on, and Gideon has to have a plan for Din Djarin. Now what if that plan was to erase his memory and put him in a mind flare and pin him against his own people? And most importantly, pin him against his own child. Do you think this is possible? Do you think Din Djarin could be put in the mind flare and be pinned against his own people? And do you think it would resolve the story from season three, bringing all the story arcs finally together in this finale? Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Smash a like on this video if you liked it. Hit subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a video. All the credit for this theory goes out to the Mandalorian Outpost on Instagram. Go check those guys out. They have a bunch of great theories regarding the third season of The Mandalorian. But if you want more videos like this, leaks and rumor videos, breakdown videos, and of course, three live streams a week every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, stick around this channel by hitting that subscribe, and may the force be with you, always.